The last type of arrhythmia I will talk about is a ventricular one. Now these are the most serious one and um, they actually can be recognized just by looking at them. We're going to start with VTAC and or ventricular tachycardia. There are two major ones, ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. Again, whenever um, there is a ventricular problem or dysrhythmia, the distinguished part is that the QRS is very wide. The major difference between VTAC and VFib or ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation is that VTAC is regular while VFib, as we said before, fibrillation is always irregular. So let's see what's, what's happening here. So again, since this ventricular, so the dysrhythmia is, is taking place within the ventricles, and that's what, make it, what makes it very serious. And this could be related to uh, ischemia. So since it's ventricular, again, the, the QRS will be wide, abnormally wide. Okay, remember that it's coming from the ventricles, not from the SA node or AV node. So the heart rate is always high because, again, it's coming from ventricles. There's a lot of excitement. The major difference or distinguish of VTAC from other ventricular dysrhythmia is that it is regular. Now, since it's very fast, it's hard to recognize an, uh, an, a P wave. All plus the P wave, it's really does not affect the ventricular dysrhythmia here. There's no way to find a relationship between P and the QRS because these QRSs are not, you, are not caused by the conduction of the P. The PRR is not available and the QRS is always wide. So again, VTAC is, you just look at it and you see, you can say right away, this is a VTAC. Remember when we talked about the third degree and I told you this is the shape of a ventricular contraction. See, all what you see is a regular wide ventricular contraction. That's what make it VTAC. We will talk about PVCs in a little bit, but this PV, three PVCs or more will make a VTAC. Okay, so it's a contraction that's taking place in the ventricles and it's not in, it's completely dissociated from the SA and AV node. Again, VTAC, you look at it and that's it. So now you learn so many, um, simply basically again, uh, so far the only ventricular or the only rhythmia or rhythm that we covered were the uh, QRS is, is wide is the third degree AV block. And, but the major difference is that AV third block, it's always bradycardia, it's always slow. So every, whenever you see a wide QRS and regular, it's a VTAC, done. So you see it's regular and see it's pretty fast, it's 180. Uh, QRS is way wider than. Okay, VFEB, again, this one also just by the shape of it. Now, there are a few of them. They're v, uh, coarse and fine VFEB. It doesn't matter just by it's completely disorganized. Um, none of the criteria applies to it. And VFEB, remember, there's no heart rate. There's no pulse. The ventricles are fibrillating, very chaotic, very irregular, and there's no beating. There's no correct output. There's no contraction. The opposite in a VTAC, there are two types of VTACs. There's a pulse or VTAC with pulse where the heart is just very fast and there's still cardiac output and there's a pulseless VTAC. And the treatment between these two is very different. So we will summarize the treatment in a little bit. So in VFib, there's no heart rate and this is the, sh the way it looks. Just random, could be coarse or fine. No heart rate, no contraction, it's just a fibrillation. And the last, but not least, is asystole. What you'll see is a straight line. There's no contraction, there's no heart rate, there's no... And sometimes you, we have, um, it's, uh, you can see pulse, or what well, looks like pulse, and sometimes even faster. And that's what we call pulseless electrical activity. The patient's unconscious, there's no heart rate, and you, when you feel pulse, there's no pulse, but there is some electric, what looks like electrical activities. Okay. And the last thing I want to cover is PVCs, which is premature ventricular contraction. 
Now there are a few couple of times, a couple of types. What I want you to recognize again is this is the shape. This is one of uh, the usual shape of the PVCs. All right. It, it contracts before, as you see, there's no Q. It contracts before its time. That's what's called PVCs. Now, if and see if you have a rhythm with a couple of PVCs and they don't look the same. See this shape is going down. This shape is going up. It's called multifocal. PVCs meaning that they're coming from different areas and that's why the shape is different and if it happens like two or three of them they go together usually two actually two we call them couplet when there's two uh, consecutive one if there are three or more it's a VTAC and sometimes you see it every um, every second one so you see our every third so one normal two normal the three is VTAC or sorry, it's um, PVCs. One normal, two normal, and then PVCs. That's called trigemini. Trigemini means every third one. Sometimes you have one normal followed by PVCs, and then normal, then PVCs, and normal PVCs. That's called bigemini. Okay, this will be covered in more details in critical care.